Hemorrhoids. They're way more common than you think, but what exactly are they? What causes them? Why are they so common in pregnancy? And how can you fix them at home? I have the answers to these questions in this video. I'm Dr. Owens and this is Hoosier MD. Let's get started. What causes those things? Hemorrhoids. What causes hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids are actually dilated and engorged clusters of blood vessels that are in and around the lower part of the rectum. These veins can become enlarged and dilated just like veins anywhere else in the body. The main culprit that causes them is pressure, but more on that later. There are actually two types of hemorrhoids, and it depends on whether they form above or below the pectinate line. This is the transition point where you go from intestinal lining to tissue that's more like skin, with internal hemorrhoids forming above this line while external hemorrhoids hemorrhoids form below this line. Why does this matter? Well, the nerves that supply these areas are actually completely different. External hemorrhoids that form below this line are far more painful, while internal hemorrhoids can cause some discomfort but are often painless. Internal hemorrhoids often cause bleeding and they can become very painful if they thrombose, which is where the blood inside of them starts to clot off. I do want to mention that the symptoms of hemorrhoids can overlap with other health conditions such as anal fissures, anal abscesses, irritable bowel disease, and even anal cancer. If you're having pain or bleeding, you should always talk to your doctor to make sure that hemorrhoids is actually the true diagnosis. A diagnosis of hemorrhoids is actually very common. In fact, up to two-thirds of all people here in the United States will actually get hemorrhoids at some point in their lifetime. Hall of Fame baseball player George Brett actually had to be removed from a game in the 1980 World Series because of hemorrhoidal pain. George Brett had a magical season in 1980 hitting 390 and winning the MVP award. But he made national headlines at the World Series, suffering through the pain and embarrassment of hemorrhoids. Then he opened the next season in a horrible slump. Forgive me for asking this, but how are the hemorrhoids this They're season? They're fine. They're, how are yours? No They're problem. Fine. Yeah, no I problem. feel great. I feel great. In fact, I was talking to Sunberg. You know he had an operation two years ago? You didn't know that, did you? You no. know Mike Hargrove has them right now. No. See, he's got them. How about Cesar Cedeno? He's got them. Okay. But everybody knows that, that I have them. That, that's <laughs> I'm not it. The only that, guy in the world. Okay. That's it on the hemorrhoid circuit. Uh, Jerry or live at Arlington Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy Carter had hemorrhoids so bad that he had to have surgery in 1984 to have his removed. Sometimes people live with hemorrhoids for a long time, and it doesn't cause them too many issues. Billy, I have a hemorrhoid that's almost 32. But they can flare and become unbearable with bleeding, itching, and pain, and you need to know some tips on how to fix them at home so you don't end up having to have surgery like Jimmy Carter. Here are my five tips to fixing hemorrhoids at home. Number five, fiber and water. To be honest, fiber should be all five of my recommendations to fixing hemorrhoids because it is that important. In fact, if you go to a doctor and they don't recommend fiber as the first fix to helping with your hemorrhoids, then that doctor is not advising you well. Hemorrhoids are caused by increased pressure in the blood vessels, and if you're straining really hard to poop, then that pressure is going to go up. Partner, come on, you gotta relax. Don't force it. Get a blow out your O-ring. This is very similar to how veins pop out when people lift weights a lot. Are you a weakling? Built like a sponge? Well, now you too can have muscles. Huh? How big do you want them? Normal? Veiny? <laughs> If you deal with persistent constipation or you're always pushing hard to poop, your hemorrhoids will never get better. Constipation is a big deal when it comes to pregnancy, and this is one of the reasons why pregnant women have such a tough time with hemorrhoids. What you want to do is have minimal strain when it comes to passing stool. Not to be too graphic, but have you ever had a poop that came out super quick and easy and when you went to wipe there really wasn't much there? That's the type of poop you're aiming for. Fiber helps bulk the stool by making it soft and really easy to pass by holding onto water. With that being said, when you increase your fiber intake, you also have to increase the amount of water that you drink. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. If you're not drinking more water, then the fiber is not going to help at all. So eating more fiber can include dietary changes like eating more fruits, vegetables, and grains. But if you don't want to make many changes to your diet, fiber can also come in supplements and powder that you can add to water. I recommend that you use a fiber product with psyllium husk. And number four, which hazel. Witch hazel is a solution made from a flowering shrub and it acts as an astringent, causing the tissue around the hemorrhoids to tighten and contract. I will admit this is a short-term fix for the worst of flare-ups and is not intended to be a treatment for hemorrhoids ongoing every day for years. You can buy witch hazel solution and just dab it onto your toilet paper, but I recommend that you buy witch hazel wipes that are like baby wipes and they're already ready to use. 
Number three, sits bath. When you're in a hemorrhoid flare and they are unbearable, you should do sits baths. This is where you soak your rear end in water to help ease the irritation, and there's a lot of recommendations on what you can add to the water. What I recommend is Epsom salt, and make sure that's Epsom salt, not table salt. So there are a few ways to do this. You could just fill up your bathtub with about five inches of water and then add two cups of Epsom salt to that. Or you could fill up a small Tupperware container with enough just to submerge your rear end and then add about half of a cup of Epsom salt to that water. There are actually sits baths that you can buy and they can be added to the top of your toilet. Here's an example of one you can buy on Amazon. My recommendation is that during a flare up, you do these three times a day for about 15 to 20 minutes. Pro tip, if you found the witch hazel to be helpful, you can actually add some of that solution into your water too. It is important to note that the water has to be room temperature. I'm talking the temperature of a water bottle that's been sitting on the counter all day. Where people get this wrong is that they use hot water. Hot water is going to cause increased blood flow to the area and that is not what you want. That's actually going to make things worse. Number two, Phenylephrine ointment. There's a lot of ointments that claim to help with hemorrhoids, but I recommend that you use one that contains phenylephrine. The walls of veins actually contain a small amount of muscle, and phenylephrine causes those muscles to contract, which is going to shrink the size of the hemorrhoid. Similar to witch hazel, this is not considered to be a long-term treatment. Only for the worst of flare-ups, you shouldn't use this every day, all day, for years on end. And finally, before I move on to number one, hopefully you found this video helpful so far. I put a lot of effort into these videos, and if you want to help me grow my channel, the best way to do that is subscribing. The number one way to help fix your hemorrhoids at home is decreased toilet time. Sitting on the toilet too long makes hemorrhoids worse. When you look at the way the human body is structured, the area in the pelvis around the rectum is largely lacking of bony support. Whenever you sit on the toilet, the bony parts of your pelvis contact the toilet seat while sort of a basket weave of muscle holds up the pelvic floor. All of the weight of your internal organs weighs down on this pelvic floor, causing veins to bulge and hemorrhoids to worsen. This along with constipation is the reason pregnancy makes hemorrhoids so much worse. All of that increased weight is pushing down on the pelvic floor. Being overweight can make hemorrhoids worse too by the same concept of being pregnant. I have what doctors call a little bit of a weight problem. So a lot of times a crucial part of treating hemorrhoids is also losing weight. Because of all these factors that I just mentioned, you need to keep your time on the toilet to a minimum. When animals go to poop, it takes them an average of 12 seconds. On average, how long do you think humans spend on the toilet? Is it three minutes? Five minutes? 10 minutes? Blank. For God's sake, just give me the damn number! The answer is about 12 minutes, but that time is going up because of these. People are spending way too long on the toilet because they're on their phones. So if you're sitting on the toilet right now watching this and wondering how to fix your hemorrhoids, you're doing it wrong and it's time to get off the toilet. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'm Dr. Owens and this is Who's Your MD. I'll see you at the next video. Seriously, it's time to get off the toilet. Hey, how about a courtesy flush over there?